Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to see how to build a very simple app with Streamlit, with some of the new features in Streamlit called query params. So let's see what we're building. So one thing about the new data frame is that with the new data frame, you can expand and then you can download and search, right? Which is a very cool feature. Okay, so in case you're not aware of it. So let's see what the app does. So if I come back to the particular application, I can go back here and I can just go slash then you can see that I have some query parameters. If I go with visualization and I specify bar chart, the plot it is automatically changed to bar chart. I can change it from here to let's use something like I say stream uh, scatter chat. And then we have a scatter chat. Yeah, right. Very nice. By just using the query params, I can go back again and change it to line chat. And now we have a line chat. So how do you build something like this in Streamlit. So I'll go back again to our workspace and then we stop our app that is running. We'll just stop this app and then we will go back again. So let me stop this one and exit the old one. And then let's create our app.py and I'm going to open it with VS Code. So this is going to be our location where we build in our new app, right? So inside my location, I have my app.py and my data data that I want to work on. So first we will import Streamlit as always. And the version of Streamlit you are using for this feature is, you can see the version is from 1.27, right? So 1.24.1, right? Apples. Okay, so let's import Streamlit as SD. And because I want to load some pandas data, I will use pandas. Then let's create our main function. And then I'll just give it a title. So let's call it as a streamlet query para app, right? So something very basic. And then here we can just go with the if underscore name, let's go to underscore main, then this is as you wish, right? Okay, so we have built a simple app, let's load our data. So I'll create a function called load data that picks in the data and then it's going to return pd.read underscore csv which is going to be my data right so you can annotate it in case you want you can just annotate it with this say uh, pd dot data frame right you can annotate it in case you want to make it more nicer okay so let's see what the app does so first we would want to show the data so i can say that uh, the data frame that I want to show df is going to be uh, load data which is the iris data set you can use any data set and then st.data frame right. there are so many features in streamlet which is very cool okay so if, let's run our app and see if it's working so streamlet run app.py and it's opening on this particular port so I'll copy this port here. It will use your default browser to open. So I'll just go back to my Chrome. This is the old one. I'll close it and then let's paste it here. So this is our Streamlit query program, right? Very nice with some nice features. You can search the rest. You can also download as of the post. Perfect. Let's add the other feature that we want there. Right. So the features we want to add is to see how to use the query param for our Streamlit application. So how do we do that? So to do that, it's very simple. First, we will need, let me position this one side by side so they can see. So first, what we need is that we need to work with the queries, right? So the queries goes with this. So we have my, I can call it as uh, all params, right? And then you can just go param. So there is experimental, query params for the get and the set to get and to set but we can just go with the normal query params here right and then with this you can just get all so it's an it's a dictionary then i can pass in let's say a particular key to so key then i can give it something like let's say params right if i save it and then let's go back here and then i can write what is there so that you see the content of it so let's always run. If I come down here, I can just go back to 
the backslash then like how we do normal query question mark then i can pass in a value so let's pass in a value let's see params then this can be something right if i go with this and i run you can see that the params was what we use as a key and it's returning something right so this is what is returning right perfect so because of that i can also change what i'm doing here because it's like a dictionary and now i can use it for our app so let's go back again and create something called visualization then st.query params because it's like a dictionary and now pass in my key so let's pass in visualization let me make it this way right and then whatever is going to be passed here so this is the term i'll pass inside my param here so now it's no more going to be param it's going to be visualization if i go with visualization something we are going to get it there right perfect and once you have gotten it we can now say if visualization is equal to let's say a uh, bar chat then we want to use st dot bar chat right it's very simple because with the params you can just unpack and get the value of what is being packed there so if i go back and i just do st dot right visualization if i rerun it again you see that you have something right so what we typed there was something if i type let's say uh, streamlit so we get streamlit right so you can get what is being passed here which is very very cool so let's go back and run our app so we're going to say that if that's the case we want to have our data set here so let me bring the data up we will load the data outside or here perfect and then we're going to say that if it is that i want to pass in my data frame and then i can give the since the bar chart we can we need an s as this right so it can be anything so we can just give it as say palette and then we can also give the y as this is going to be let's say a uh, sepal width right so something like that so if i rerun it again and now if i come back and i change it from streamlit to bar chat now we have our plot right very nice so this is very very useful these things the s and y can also be added as params here so that when you pass them there we also receive them right so you can also do that then i can just go back to else if specialization is equal to a line plot streamlit is so cool <laughs> right or line chat i want to do st dot line chat then i'll do the same thing here right so we can add many features just with the query params right and it is going to work so perfect then let's say else if visualization is equal to you can also do this right but let's go with this so go to scatter chat or area chat just passing the same thing instead of scatter passing the same then let's add one more which was not part so lc if visualization is equal to area chat i want to do st.area chat passing this right else if there is nothing show me the data right so something very basic so let's save it and if i rerun we have a very simple application so in case i there's nothing here inside the visualization we have just a data set but in case i pass in my bar chart we have bar chart if i change it from bar chart to scatter chat so we have scatter chat we can change it to area and we get the area chat very nice you can also add more to it so as you could see i can also add let's say in case i want to use different rows for the s axis so different column for the s axis i can say i say as is going to be st dot query param which is going to go with get s axis right and it's going to get the s axis that we want from our query param 
and I want to give it a default, right? So it's very important to give it a default. So I can just give it as, let's say, a set power length. And then instead of using the X here, I will now replace the S here with my X axis. Right, so you can do something like this. So let's always run. So we have our area chart. In case I go to the bar chart, it is working, right? Perfect. If I go back here and I add uh, another one, so let's say I add uh, S as this, I hope it works. <laughs> right, and then I can just pass in, um, let's say, sepal. Wait, right, let's see if it work. And now we have a different plot, right? So we are just plotting based on this. We have added the S as also here. So the person can just change it as the person wish, right? Very cool. So you can do the same for the Y axis and add more features to it, right? So that it becomes Y axis and then this becomes Y and this becomes the width. Right. So we have this one here and we can just change this one to width. So S, Y axis, right? So we can just repeat this instead of having hard coded, we can just use this and then use this and then use this so we have the default ones which are these ones and then we can have it here so let's say i run it we have the default one i can just change this one from s axis to petal i hope there is petal yeah we have petal so we have the s sepal with petal right right and then we can also change it and add another one to it so and why as this is go to let's say uh, petal length so now we are no more using right so we have gotten a very nice app you can just change this one to scatter or line and you have a different plot perfect so that is a very simple feature and how we can use it very, very useful. So all you need is you just need this query params and then it's like a dictionary. So you can treat it like a dictionary and then use the keys to get it and then get the result and then use it to do what I'm about to do. So thank you for watching the tutorial. See you another time. Stay blessed. Bye.